hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, cctv camera uh, maybe not exactly cctv some some bad camera effect so yeah so we are going to use post process materials and some other post process effects as well and going to build this from scratch right so this is a regular scene uh, with the mannequin uh, placed in the level so first thing we need is a post process volume so let me drag and drop one and I'll make this um, infinite volume where is it Oh, yeah, under post process volume settings in finite extent. So, the first basic thing that we can do is to get some dots into the screen, we can add some film grain. Film grain. This effect, strike file. So, we instantly get some noise across the screen. Don't it have too much but you can balance it out in the in any way you need and here let's create a material m cctv so here first thing we need to do is we need to change the material domain to post process so now we only have msu color so if i assign this under for post process materials select as a preference and apply it see now it becomes all black because we haven't connected anything to this msu card so let's get scene texture and here i'll select post process input and it will connect it to the msu color so now we get uh, the picture same as what we would see even if we uh, if we don't have any other post process effects so this is just the image that would be rendered regardless uh, before applying any post process effects and just showing it through the material so now by doing some operations to this for example if i multiply this by some value you can see brightness increases so yeah we can manipulate the image so uh, let's get some lines horizontal lines so for that let me get access texture coordinate and do a component mask and filter g so this will give me the um, vertical coordinate of this screen so since i need to have horizontal lines we need to use the vertical coordinates here uh let's also get screen resolution uh, let me just connect this to this multiplier so now you see the upper part is black and lower part is uh, upper part is darker lower part is uh, more bright so that means this value is increasing from here to downwards so if i multiply this screen resolution you also we need to do a component mask can get the vertical value now you should see well basically everything is so bright because this is screen resolution uh, has now basically changed this 0 to 1 variation of that we come from here 
so basically to see row to whatever the vertical resolution so if i do an f1 here so basically f1 means a modulus division so divide whatever the value we get here from this b value and give us the remainder so let me promote this to a parameter let's call this width strip width uh, maybe width doesn't match because yeah, let's it's okay let's use this value and connect it here now you see some lines right but these lines so here basically what happens is here it's zero and as it go down it goes to a value from zero to whatever the script is strip width so that means zero to 40 zero to 40 zero to 40 but once it exceed one everything becomes white so if i divide this by this same strip width we will get a value that is changing from zero to one see now we have some clear lines like this now if i want to have some other smaller lines in between we can do another f mode and let's promote this to a variable small strip width let's make this something like 5 because this has to be smaller than the larger strip uh, but I think uh, this 40 is too large let's try 20 for that and 10 for this right now uh, you only see the small strip okay oh, no I haven't used this still on any calculation so let's uh, add these two together right now you see a secondary line as well see uh, which has a much smaller width so if i want to move this what i can do is we can add some input that is changing with time so that means uh, here get some space let's add not one if I add time now you see it's moving up step by step what if I play It is moving but uh, oh that's not relevant to this case that error. so it is not moving it is moving but not fast enough so let's multiply this uh, by some multiplier how oh, about 10 all right now we can clearly see the lines moving moving up uh, and if you want we can move the secondary line as well maybe with the different speed
so it should move down. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's not great. Okay, that seems good enough. Uh, what's next? So, what if I want to give some distortion across these lines for this image? So, to do that, we will have to add some offset to this texture coordinates or for this UV coordinates. So, text, oh, I can use the same text code. here and uh, let's add uh, if I had one you can see everything becomes one color because there is nothing uh, one means it completely offsets the image uh, into the right side so if I change this to like 0.1, you can see it's halfway offset, uh, not offset, somewhat offset, like 0 0.01. There should be some small offset. So let's see if I add the uh, wait. For this modifier let's multiply this with some value and add as the offset but if the value is one then it's not fine mm -hmm. wait what about the smaller one uh, the larger one Oh, that seems fine. So, if you want to uh, reduce the intensity of this distortion, you can simply change this value like this. I think it's too much. right that seems good enough so if you want to reduce this black line intensity what you can do is here you can clamp uh, clamp in between 0 and 1 wouldn't do anything but if you want to reduce blackness you can clamp this Clamp it with some lower bound, like 0.6. Okay, so this is our final effect. And yeah, I have shown the steps, so you can just fine tune the values and modify and do whatever you need and tweak it to get the optimum look you need. So yeah, I'm going to stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available here in the Patreon page for the download. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.